Hello and welcome everyone. So I'm going to do a video here on asthma. Uh, a number of you have been asking about asthma and how to actually not just treat the symptom but get rid of the issue. And I can speak from personal experience. Um, I had asthma. I wasn't born with it and it really started affecting me in 2013 and it was brutal. So I used to use oregano oil as kind of my own little inhaler. Um, again, I'm not suggesting everyone to do that, but I really didn't have anything else to open up the airways. But that didn't get rid of the actual problem, which I'm going to show you here, that caused the contractions within the respiratory system, basically the asthma attack. And there is evidence, I mean, it, it is animal studies, but uh, I can tell you my own personal, you know, human uh, side of the story here that black seed oil is very effective and it's going to help reduce the spasms in the muscles and tissues. Why? Because asthma is having mucus and is constricting the airways and they're going to narrow and swell and that's what's producing that mucus. And this is what's triggering the coughing, the wheezing, and the shortness of breath. And for some it's just a minor nuisance, but for others it really limits their daily activities. And basically everyone's told to use an inhaler when they're having an asthma attack. Now, I'm not telling anyone not to use their inhaler if they're having an asthma attack, if that's what you have right now. But that's just treating the symptom, opening up the airway, but it's not fixing this problem. So if you don't correct this, you're going to continue to keep having to use that inhaler and just treat the symptom. And if you are having an asthma attack, definitely do what you need to to correct that, but work on the steps, which I'm going to show you right now, to actually fix the underlying problem. Black seed oil can be very, very effective. Unfortunately, not all black seed oils are the same. Reason being, I'll explain here very uh, very simply with my comparison that black seed oil, even if it's cold pressed and it comes from seeds from you know India, Turkey, or wherever, you're not going to reap all of the benefits. I'm not saying any of these black seed oils on here, I don't know any of these brands, are bad for you. Just that I can tell you that some of them, or a majority of them, will have additional chemicals, so you're not going to get the same benefits. Just for example, as if you took apple juice from the grocery store, the color is going to be different versus fresh apple juice made at home by you. They're both made from apples. One sits on the shelf and has chemicals, the other one you can drink right away and you're going to get all of the antioxidants, it's going to taste better, so you cannot compare the two. Egyptian black seed oil versus regular black seed oils are not the same. Research shows that Egyptian black seed oil is the most effective. Unfortunately, the majority of them do not come from Egypt. They're not cold-pressed. They don't come in glass bottles. And this is why people are not getting rid of their issue permanently. And yes, I've used this, and it's very, very effective. And I would suggest a half a teaspoon uh, to a teaspoon at least twice a day. Black seed oil works better when you're taking smaller amounts than taking two teaspoons at once. Uh, it, it's just the way this particular um, oil works. But... Again, if you're getting something very high quality and you want that for your convenience, you can go to shop, shop.destroydiseases.com, and you can go ahead and, uh, or click on the link um, below, and you'll get the highest quality black seed oil. That will help you in this um, situation. Now, I can't tell you that it's going to effectively 100% quote-unquote cure and use the C word, but I can tell you that it worked fantastic for me and it will help to reduce the inflammation um, eventually the body will heal itself I can tell you that um, but this product is very very effective for people that have asthma uh, but once again word of caution if you need to use the inhaler always still have it with you just in case you do have an asthma attack because you don't ever want to panic when you have an asthma attack it will make it worse um, but this will help reduce those over time and fix the inflammation causing the mucus and the problems. Thank you so much. Any questions, go ahead and let me know. Bye-bye.